are Sierra Burdick, Sarah Hammond, and Tiffany Mitchell. Burdick. No, I can't really tell who comes up. I'm pretty sure Russia will have the same three as started most of the games. Leshkovtseva, Luganova, and Cherepanova. Teams are in the huddle. They want to talk it out before the game because it's a very important game for them. Everything at stake here. I don't know. I mean, are my eyes really lying to me, but Burdick just almost dunked. I mean, she didn't have the ball, but she jumped so high, she grabbed the rim. I know she's doing it. I know she's, she's doing it before every single game. I just, I just saw that. Well, I saw it a long time ago. I just, I just keep forgetting to tell y'all that. So we are here at the Luzhniki Stadium at the final Logan game the first against Russia there. and USA. I spoke to Loganova before the game, and she said, you can't even imagine how bad I want to win this tournament. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can. Good foul by Leskovsova. Uh, she didn't have no choice, uh, but foul her. And uh, number 10, Hammond, right? Yes, she will shoot a free throw. Hammond and makes a free throw. Good. So uh, it's a one, one. And that's your point of the pass. And let me tell Hammond. you what. The, uh, I think Russia uh, facing first, uh, they facing USA who playing really tough physical basketball. I don't see any team who play like USA in this tournament, but we will see how Russia will respond to that. So she yes. kind of well with follow that. Her shot by follow her shot and she scores easy points. Good tip. She's been doing it all day, but uh, uh, number Burdick find a uh, Hummel under the rim and uh, easy point for her. Russia with the ball up top. Vyskovtsova. And uh, it's a turnover by Russia. 2-2. Two, two. And uh, USA is up top. I remind you there is 2-2-2 two, 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 the score. And Loganova, and it was seems like it was easy for Burdick to take it all the way to the rim, and Stalyar will check in for Leshkovtseva. Stalyar, I hope Stalyar will play the same way she has been playing she all does. tournament with a great stops. defensive stops. Oh, nice move, nice spin move by Stalyar. Lugnov uh, trying to use her height advantage, and she couldn't do it for some reason. And uh, <laughs> Two, two. That's a score. And uh, Stalyar, good. What happened? Shot clock, Shot clock violation. violation. What? Shot clock violation. It was a good take by Stalyar. You can see that she's uh, kind of upset, but the game is uh, going on. So it's a verdict with the ball. Good steal by Stalyar. 
And like I said, she bringing the same oh, defense good. as she used to. Nice lob pass. Sure, Travel. They travel. call travel to her. Up. Like I said, U.S. team playing real tough basketball. They might grab it, uh, Chiripanova, or holding her, but uh, referee didn't see it. My fault. He didn't see. He did not see it, but he just won't call it because from his side it seems good, pretty, safe, pretty legal. But a uh, good take, and we keep on going. Russia with the ball, Stalyar. That's a block by Lloyd. Very tough it's block. It's a tough Lloyd. block. Whoa. And she scored. I didn't Did see, see what that happened. Screen? Did you see that screen right there? Look. Oh, that was a, 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 a screen. I don't know, I think she would. I think. She would and on the floor, Logunova, Leshkovtsova, and Stalyar. Shot by Lloyd, and it's good. It's 5 to 2, United States up. Nice spin move by Logunova. Another nice one. Nice spin move but by Logunova, but she cannot that. convert that. And Leshkovtsova was trying to. She comes out with it. Good take by Mitchell. Six to two. Russia is down. Six to two. Six minutes and 35 seconds to go. Team Russia need to get on the heels to get that win and at least to get a point. Very physical basketball there. You, you are not lying. It is a very physical wow. basketball. And this should just score a... Nice shot. Yeah. If she would look in a corner, she would see the, the scope to her wide the open, but there. she didn't see it. I think we got a, mis a lot of mismatches out there. Logan over is keep on losing uh, while Lloyd is taking it to the... We need that too. Tough. We really needed that one. And it's a, I think it's Russia, Russia ball. ball. Yeah. And Chirpano will check for Stalyar. Seven to two. Five minutes and 55 seconds to go. Oh no, it's USA ball. Mitchell tries the two, short. Ball goes out of bounds. It's Good box out by Leskovtsova. Panova, Panova, down, down low. low. Can't Can finish. Score. Let's go to a call for the foul. And the Shkoso need to keep her head in the game to, because she keep on falling. And it, on the replay, as we can see, fouls. and she fell hard on the floor too. To the Panova with a steal. Lugunova with the ball. Leshkovtsova for the long two. Nice. And, and it's good. good. Seven to four. Three-point USA lead. Five minutes and 20 seconds to go. Let's see if Russia can keep it up. Was it a travel? And it's another two-pointer by USA. Mitchell call for a foul. It's nine to four. I believe so, and we have a little bit of technical difficulties uh, over here with the scoreboard. Man, and 
I can see some girls are enjoying music. Matter of fact, this girl from Netherlands. And I'm gonna tell you what, they are really, really pretty. At least one of them. Uh, so we're back, 9 to 4, 4 minutes and 48 seconds to go. The announcer is trying to get the crowd is going, but I hope the crowd didn't lose the hope. Nice block. Chiripano with it. She stepped out of bounds. And uh, number seven from USA Burdick is uh, happy with her defense. So number five, Mitchell, to number seven, Burdick. And Burdick is scoring, so it's a miscommunication there on defense by Russian players. That's another missed layup for Russia. How many of these are they going to do? It's at least the third missed layup this game. That would have Minimum. Been. I would say five. Lloyd rims out. Luganova is down low. Good take by Luganova. And Russia need to step on the heels because we got four minutes and nine seconds to go. Good defense by Stalar. Good defense by Stalar. And we need to get, the Russia need to get this rebound. They have to. Salyar is playing great defense all tournament long. I think she deserved the defensive player of the tournament. And I, it should be a foul on a USA player, but a USA team is up top. And she slips Good away. Oh, wow. Wow. That's just, wow. That's just, you know. That is, Look at the, I, I, it seems like they don't feel any confidence in their moves or anything because of because uh, of the hard defense. Nah, because passed the ball to Stellar while she was wide open and it was, it was almost a steal. Not a steal, but a turnover. And Logan Ola don't feel comfortable down low because they put pressure on her. I think they did a little scouting report. Oh yeah. Flat pass to Lloyd. Guarded by Leskovsua. Uh, tough, very tough shot by Lloyd. Chiripano will try the two, no good. Rebounded by Mitchell. Ooh, started out playing good D. Oh, ooh. I was about to say that she playing a good D, but she slipped. Okay. Miscommunication. Another sloppy uh, pass there. Sloppy pass and Russia just don't seem like they themselves on the court. Yeah, it's a whole different team that we have seen here. Let them recognize Team Russia from other games. We gotta give credit to USA defense. Oh They're yeah, you gotta give credit to all them. Over them. Even uh, that they had a difference in the height. Uh, our uh, Russia team got a height advantage, and uh, look at the pass on the replay. She slipped. She almost lost the ball, but she's still uh, able to convert the pass uh, for an easy layup. And uh, I think it's USA ball up top, and it is. Um, Lloyd. Stalar on a hammer. Oh, and it's a travel. Good defense by Stalyar. They got two minutes and 55 seconds to prove the Team USA wrong and uh, get the. Um, matter of fact, didn't you say uh, Team won yeah, uh, two years ago? Yes, they did. 
So they're defending their title, huh? Trying to. Let's see what Russia has to say about that. Verdict that needed some medical attention. But she's good, back on the floor. Moshkovsova tries the two. No, she, she will drive that. She is fouled. Hard fall right there, but she's getting up. And it's only a first foul for Team USA. They played and seven how, minutes and 12 seconds and without a let foul. Let me tell you that Moshkovsova is playing really hard, even though... She's not that oh, she's not that young, is she? She's 26. She's 26. Well, let's see. Solid ages. Perfect but, um, age for a basketball player. Yep. She's in her prime right now. And don't forget, she got a child and a husband. So, and she's still able to keep herself for the basketball. And a Stalar playing D. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. What is... Great defense by Stalar yet by again. Stalar. There's Kostova with the ball. There's Kostova. It's no good. Logan Logan with the rebound. She is fouled. And Russia needs to make all of them free throws attempt if they want to be at least close to the USA team. So announcer is uh, helping us. Uh, he said uh, seventh foul for Team USA. Second. He said second? I thought he said seventh. No, it's only a second foul here. My fault. Logan over. Misses the free throw. And there's shot by Lloyd. And if anybody asked me, Lloyd is the MVP of this tournament. And Logan Ola was trying, but she could not convert it. So this Oh. Man, Mitchell take it to the rack. And this didn't have any choice but foul her. She was right behind her. So. Mitchell misses a free throw. Nishkovsova tries the two. Misses that too. Lloyd with a rebound. And tipped by Chiripano. Goes, both goes out of bounds. And it's 14 to 5. With a minute and 42 seconds left. Good screen by Mitchell. She is open for the. She misses the layup. Rebound by Cherry Pandora. Good pass from Roganova. And it's 14 to 6. Lloyd with it. Back to Burdick. Good pass to Mitchell. And she is fouled. Terry Pano bails her out on the last second shot. This is another free throw. They need to start shooting twos if they want to be at least 12 to 1. And it's another turnover by the Shkovso. And what a team spirit USA got. Man, when, when player on the floor, at least one of the teammates will come and help you out to get up. So USA team up top, Lloyd with the ball. Nishkovsa with a nice layup. We got 46 seconds to go, 14 to 7. Mitchell, nice. It would have to be a miracle if. No miracles here, man. No miracles no here. It's safe to say that USA will win. Second time in a row. Man, USA team plays physical basketball out here. 
Very physical to the last second here. And we all know if you keep the, you never under, uh, how do you say it? Under Underestimate. Yeah. Your uh, opponent. Never disrespect your opponent. Well, the Russia had a great run here. In the first official FIBA three on three world championship, Russia gets the second place. Not bad for the home team, not bad. Of course, we all wish it was gold, but Team USA was better today. They deserve the gold. I'm gonna tell you more, they was better the whole tournament. I don't think they lost a single game. I don't think so either. Nah, I think they did. They, they came close to losing to France, but they still came out victorious. They were one by three. It was 12 to nine, I remember that game. It's Team USA, men's Team USA, they lost to Qatar in the... Tunisia. Yeah, I mean, to, to, yeah, they lost to Qatar. Who, oh, men's USA? Yeah, in the, in the pool, and then they lost to Tunisia in the uh, round of 16. Man, the USA team played tough. Man. And Mitchell wants to hear from the crowd, but she forgets that she is in Russia right now. And this game is over. USA takes home the gold for the second time in a row. Great job. And congratulations to Sierra Burdick, Jewel Lloyd, Sarah Hammond, the crowd Sarah on Hammond their and feet. Tiffany Mitchell. The crowd on their feet to congratulate the Russian national women's team. Um, it was a it was a hard tournament for them.